So <clears throat> we have another 300ZX in the shop. Um, Dennis and his dad have been... And his brother. Yeah, I guess uh, so him and his son's been, you know, working on this car to get it put together. But anyways, they dropped it off. Um, it's got a built engine and um, they wanted the project, you know, wrapped up, uh, finished up. It's got a Haltech Platinum, Pro, uh, platinum uh, plug and play ECU. And um, so we're just going through some things, buttoning up some stuff, and hopefully looking to get it started up soon. Um, <clears throat> I've already started uh, putting things together. As you can see, I got the intake on and the injectors and everything in. Um, when they dropped it off, none of that stuff was put together. And um, just kind of going through some things and you know fixing stuff here and there, and um, you know hopefully we'll have this thing fired up pretty soon. Yeah. Um, I feel like this car has not run in three years, yeah, right? Like three years. Three years. Three, four years, something yeah. like that. And uh, do we know the, the year? They were thoughtful when they dropped it off. We have a nice list of the things that needed to be done. This is awesome. Oh, 91. See? Okay. 91. Um, this is a great idea, by the way, if you're dropping your car off at a shop. Um, it always helps to have a nice little list. Um, usually we take a list ourselves and we enter it into our system. Um, yeah, I mean, but it's nice to have a visual, yeah. Yeah, for, or people, you'll, you'll forget, you go to drop the car off and you, you'll forget everything. <laughs> yeah, you'll forget what to tell them, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's not like we don't go through the car anyways and figure it all out, but this you know, does make it a lot easier, especially if you want an estimate on you know what you're gonna kind of spend because if I can look at this list and tell you okay if this is what needs to be done then I can automatically apply that to the estimate versus you dropping the car off and then me finding out this needs to be done and then applying it to the estimate yeah. and then the price goes up um, so that's a big plus and then we got the uh, yeah. rolling through late oh, giant banana it's late late what time is it Ch checks in I don't even know two o'clock two, two o'clock He's fired. He's fired. He fired. Uh, yeah, I had to hold. I had to hold the uh, giant bar today, all by myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got so lazy now that you're here. I have to say, I don't have to do like half the shit anymore. I'm just like, oh, you guys are pushing a car in. Cool. What is oh, that? The last one? Oh, that's our new thermostat. Oh, good. Smart thermostat. The smart thermy. No, no, like that. no. no. <laughs> Did you figure out this piping? This pipe? Oh, yeah. Well, I just gotta, you know, flip one of the two pipes. So, uh, when it comes to these, you know, like intercoolers, and we got two inlets and two outlets. The outlets to the turbo do not go on the same bottom top or top row of the inlet pipe. So for instance, for example, you see this intercooler is pretty much split right here down the middle. You got a top section and a middle section. So it will come in through one side and out through the other. So naturally you would have coming out of the <laughs> turbo and then the turbo you know, is wrong because this is coming from the turbo and that's coming from the turbo. So you've got boost coming in and then it's just gonna smack each other and then go nowhere. And then you've got both throttle bodies on the cold <laughs> side hooked up to the bottom. So it's not gonna get anything. Boost doesn't come in and it's not gonna come down <laughs> and do a U-turn or and it's not gonna come and cross. So ideally you'd have, for instance, if this was gonna be the side that comes out of the turbo, then this is gonna be the, it's gonna travel through and that's gonna be the side that goes to the throttle body. And then vice versa, turbo, throttle body. That way, you know, it's going you know, to cross through. But, now, yeah. to be fair, um, this has been, there are no directions, right? They had no directions. Oh, yeah. or um, So what do you have to do then to resolve it? You're just going to rip them pipes off and switch the... No, I pretty much I just got to take one side and flip it. That way, um, it looks like uh, this is going up to the throttle body that's coming out of the turbo. 
that's coming out of the turbo down is going. So if I flip it, when it comes out of the turbo to go through the intercooler, it's going to go to the cold side to the throttle body. Um, so I literally just take any one side and just flip them, and we'll be good to go. All right, cool. Yeah, there's no room in here, um, so it's not like I could really show you exactly what he's talking about. Um, like, like where show show him about where the turbos are. Where? <laughs> Can't see him. No, I know, but like. <laughs> So the, these they're big, shoved. Yeah, they're, I mean they're essentially down there. Yeah. These are the outlet pipes from the turbo. These Nine. are the turbo inlet. Um, so you got the inlets and the outlets, and then these go to the throttle bodies coming from the inner cooler. So these are going to travel down. But yeah, I mean it's a whole. These these cars are a mess. <laughs> they are. Me personally, I don't like working on them because they're <laughs> just such a pain in the ass. But I know how to work on them, so. <laughs> I personally like the look of them. Um, they are a little, little tight in here. <laughs> a little. <laughs> yeah, today I watched you with that extender, and it was like a bunch of these. Eight foot extension, swivel on the end, with a mini ratchet and yeah. hitting the torque. Just yes, so it was ridiculous. And I had to pry the, what, the hose out of the way or something yeah. so we could reach it. So, it was ridiculous. Oh, here's the little mount on this one, boost solenoid mount. Yeah, it looks nice. I like it. Um, okay, so what's next then for the Z? Um, because well, I know we've already got oil in the engine and we've got it primed. So I get fluid everywhere else. We need fluid in the trans, um, mm -hmm. coolant. Um, right now, I was also working on fuel. Up the, <laughs> yeah, well, I've got a new fuel pump for it. Oh. Um, we're doing a new OEM twin turbo fuel pump, and then just gonna flush out the gas tank because it's got three year old fuel in there. Um, I was working on wiring up the dual Haltech, the Haltech dual wideband cam controller. We've also got a Haltech cam gauge through from Gauge Art that we're gonna install. And then, um, yeah, hopefully you have it running today. I would like to see it running today. All right, cool. You've been working on this for a couple of days, so it's not, um, what would you say? Because you had to wait for the injectors to come in and... Yeah, we ended up going with a different set of injectors. He had some Subaru side feed injectors, um, which I guess in theory would work. But, you know, I have no experience with them. They didn't fit the rail too great for whatever reason. And... Um, my favorite, no injector data. Ah. So, um, we went with the Nismo, um, 615s or the 555s. Um, his power level, his power goal is not very much. So those will be perfect <laughs> I think him. he actually asked to, for you to make it slower than it would be, which we then had to explain that that's not ideal well, for. The, the, at the end of the day, the car makes what it makes. Like, sure, you can like, reduce the boost and make it a little slower, but it's like, if the car wants to make 300 horsepower on wastegate, I mean, there's done, <laughs> nothing I'm going to do to stop it from making 300 horsepower. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's well, pretty that's it. pretty good. Okay, so um, hopefully we'll wrap up this video with it running. And then what? Then he gets it back? No. Mm -hmm. Gotta get tuned. Well, yeah, tuned and probably, I'm, I'm sure I'll find some other stuff that needs eh. to be Usually, There's, but these cars always need something. Yeah, plus we're relying on um, all everything to be nice and snug. I'm sure we'll find a couple leaks. Yeah, I'm sure we'll yeah. find some leaks or some. Leaks. That's I mean, usually what happens. Leaks. Yeah, but we didn't build the engine. We didn't install the engine, so we're just just kind of chugging along. Fin the finisher is is here. Yeah, yeah. Finish it. <laughs> Finish it. <laughs> okay.